Why am I even upset? Like, I'm a forager. I don't have to. I have my superpower. Like, look. Superpower. Hello, friends, and welcome back to the channel. But if you're new, hi, hello. I am Artsy at The Artsy Gamer. I make art, I play games, and I encourage others to do the same. This is another video of Rags to Riches. I have been waiting for this moment, friends, for literal weeks, I think. Maybe time timelines are weird because I've been time traveling excessively. And so we have quite a few things going on. First and foremost, we have an updated Nook's Cranny. And we have our first campsite villager. Now we have our smug over there. Say say hi, hippo. He says hi. And uh I was thinking, why don't we add a little drama, a little spice, and then another speed build for the for the channel and also for this series to celebrate figuring out a way to combine, you know, the rags to riches end game objectives to the build itself and i have i have a few ideas we're going to start with the easiest one probably arguably the, the longest one that's going to take forever but we're going to get this drama out of the way why am i even upset like i'm a forager i don't have to i have my superpower like look superpower so it's not like it's a going to be a problem for me but you know what happens if this is a top 10 villager what if it's somebody that i have a beef with what happens if i just vibe with them because then we have to go through the really obnoxious thing of inviting them we're going to see who it is we're going to see who it is and we're just going to hope for the best okay Okay. I unfortunately do not have anybody to tell me, like, is it good? Is it bad? Is it your your enemy? Is it your bestie? I, so we're just going to hope for the best, okay? Okay. All right. Is it awful? Is it terrible? Oh my goodness. Who is it? Oh dear. Oh dear. No way! <laughs> Oh no, it's my drama queen. Hello, Mint. For those who don't know, uh, a couple of islands ago, this girl caused like so much drama with my thruple with Vesta, Antonio, and Fang. And I was talking about putting her back on the island with them, with the island I abandoned. But you know, oh yeah, no, we need some spice. We need some spice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's invite her. Let's go. Well, you're not a shy one. My name's Mint. How kind of you to stop by. I absolutely love this island, don't you? The air, the trees, the water. <laughs> Thank you. I've been I've been working on it. Mhm. Mm you should live here. You would literally be a minty breath of fresh air. Hey. How about How about How about you live here? Fasty? Come on, live here. Live here. Do not make me. No, no. 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 I don't want to play again. Does this feel like a horror movie to you all, friends, where let's play a game and they keep you here in entirety? The only problem, though, is that if she tries to kick out a starter, I'm not, I can't take her. I, I just, I can't. I love my free time traveling for rags to riches. But maybe I'll get this right. I almost always pick red or heart because it's the top of the list. Mm. Is it red? Please. Of course it's not. Like, why? Why would it be? Mm -hmm. One eternity later. I swear. I swear to Nintendo that if this is a red card after... All right. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, RNG gods. You are too kind. All right, let's see. Who is... Who is she uh, replacing? If she... Okay, here's the thing. As much as I love our boy Hippo, 
I'm okay with Hippo going because I've had him multiple times at this point. I'm okay with Zucker leaving. Sorry, Hedgy. Uh, I'm okay with... I'm okay with Aurora leaving, actually. But... And I'm also okay with Velma leaving because I, I like Velma. She's great and she's been wonderful, but I, I just... I want, I want this messy girl. Come on. Uh, sure. That's a good idea. Today's a good day! Let's go. Let's go. Yes. We will say goodbye to our girl Velma. So friends, if you've been trading with me with the markets, just I want to let you know that Velma is a delight and she's really cute. But uh, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. It's all right. That's all right. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So now that we've dealt with that drama and that took about, you know, seven minutes of our time, let's go say goodbye to Velma and then let's talk about the island. Oh, she was even wearing the poncho I gave her. Oh my goodness. Velma, I'm I'm so sorry. I need to have my messy girl. I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But you are incredible. Beauty Grace. Like, look at those frames. Actually, she's making me like want to get new frames for my eyes, for my for my face. Like, look at this girl. Just so sweet. Oh, it's you. I haven't told you, have I? There's no way to sugarcoat this, so I'll just give it to you straight. I'm moving off the island tomorrow. I know. I, I kind of contributed. Yeah. I'm so glad to have met you, and I will not forget you. Thank you for everything that you've done. She was like our autofill queen, right? Because we had we had two autofills, right? No, we had, we had three autofills. That's right, because we had Zucker and Rocco and then Velma. So, uh, yeah, friends, uh, if you if you get this girl, let me know, take a snapshot, share it with me, because I would love to see her have a really great home on Rags to Riches. Plus, like, snooties are kind of great. What is what is Mint's like popularity on the Animal Crossing portal thing? What is it? Do we know? So uh, Mint is, is 179. How dare you? Uh, she is so great. I don't know why you all have terrible taste. I have been actually voting for people so that I can potentially have a top 10 while already having them. Have you all been doing that, friends? Have you been ha like cheating the system and making it so that your villagers have... Uh, a chance of being in top 10 for the month so you can just get that finished. But let's talk about this island and this layout. I have been having a really hard time putting together like a road or something and our, our bestie over at Boys Crossing created this amazing dirt path that had pa like paint on the sides and then I realized my problem. <sighs> You see the problem. So I've added a little bit of like a broken road here and it really started clicking with me how to kind of fill in the space. But we are currently at four stars. Isabel is currently judging literally everything that we are doing with this island. And I thought it would be really cool to actually have designated spots for the various classes. And so here, actually, actually, where where, where is this piece of paper that I had? Ah, okay had a list so the idea that i had was to create a farm by the resident services so i'm going to be clearing this up for the first speed build and create more money for uh for myself and then i was thinking of doing like for fugitive something with a secret beach with red i think that would be a really cool idea and then for fashionista i was thinking of having like a flower garden like a curated english garden sort of situation that's really foresty too you know with with that and i don't know what to do with forager y'all i'm i'm a little stuck with that so if you have an idea of like what sort of build that i could do with the oh that's a 
artsy get it together if you could help me find out like what sort of build that you don't mind me stealing from you uh put it in the comments of like a really good build for a forager because i i, I am stuck i'm absolutely stuck maybe something with fossils maybe something with selling seashells by the seashore that's actually kind of brilliant but this is what i've been working on we have moved rattle over here and i have a staircase finally down to my house so this is going to be like a little hidden area i'm really excited about that and then we're moving and elevating a lot of the front area to here so we're going to probably be adding more cherry trees around this area because as i said i want to have a very red redwood yeah so what i think we're going to do is we're going to clear out this area in on the side of resident services and then we're going to put i think another road along here for the back and then start i think splitting up the back area for the able sisters for uh nook's cranny but today today it's just you know the run of the mill farm build yeah So I completely and totally understand that this video was very much all over the place. You're going to see, I'm going to give you a bit of a, a forewarning that the second half of this video is completely and totally unhinged, but I did want to kind of talk to you while I'm cleaning up and sort of setting the tone for the mid part of my island. You know, why I thought it was really important to feature the different classes and to show how special and unique each gameplay was. Mostly because in real life I had this really interesting moment by simply just moving a couch. Like I don't know how to put this all together but you're, we're gonna work on it together, okay? Anyway, so my office or my part of the office because HubSmod, my husband and I, share the this the space is the fact that i previously had a a really nice lush purple l-shaped couch that was against the window and i had planned to move my desk to facing the wall that where like the door opens you know so the door would be at my left and i would actually be able to see who was coming in and out and it's not like there's any danger right but i started understanding how placement and spatial interconnectedness really works by simply moving our couch into the living room because we had a, a surprise party for a friend and i took that to move my desk to the opposite wall so that the front door wasn't facing me and moved the bookshelf that was where my desk is now to behind me because the goal is to effectively get rid of the, the green screen within the next couple of months. And I have to tell you that I, for the past few months, had been feeling really claustrophobic and really tense and really distracted and scatterbrained in the office. Like, I couldn't figure out how to, to function. And I don't know if that has to do with just figuring out life as a parent and trying to separate myself from being completely immersed in my child. And it was very elating. It was so invigorating. I think I described the the shift, even though my desk is still completely a mess and there's stuff everywhere. It was like being oxygen drunk. It was quite incredible. And I think after three years of playing this game, I started understanding how people, instead of having transition builds from one part of their Animal Crossing Island to another, that you really just need to trust the process that each 
each area has its own place. You just, you need to own it. And so I will say that even though I did end up finishing the farm off stream, and I'll, I'll talk about that after the voiceover speed build, it's not mind blowing and that's okay. I really started appreciating that you didn't have to have these extravagant over the top builds just like from one scene after another. It's really just finding that vibe, owning it, and kind of working with what you had. And eventually I will be adding more stuff around the area to make it feel more cohesive, but I really did appreciate this starting point of placing the farm, doing an appreciation of the farmer class, even though we are hashtag team forager on this channel. But I am really excited to see how you know, when people visit this island, hopefully in dream addresses, who are rags to richest players themselves, they're like, oh yeah, that was my class. I totally, I see what Artsy was doing. And so I, I do want to end this voiceover by saying that if there is a place in your home that's not serving you, try moving something around and try sitting with how stuff like surrounding you feels because I'm not a, a feng shui master or anything, but there is something about how you share space with space. And there we go, fantastic. So clearly my speed builds are not going to be fully completed, but I will say that I, I was just super inspired by finally having this understanding of how space and interconnectedness works in this game, also in real life. So. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some playing off off camera and then kind of finalize. And then I think what we're going to do is finish. I don't know. I, I was thinking of maybe placing the Able Sisters and Nook's Cranny and maybe decorating a little bit around the secret beach to have that little fugitive vibe. But again, I really do need help for the uh, the forager aspect of this island because for now, it just looks like hashtag team farmer and we are a hashtag team forager island, you know, you know. So we are going to do a bit of decorating. As I said, we'll time travel to the next day. I have to be very mindful of my time traveling because the stock market has not been kind at all whatsoever. So we're, we're hoping for the best for that. <sighs> but getting mint back to some island of some capacity. Yep, this is what I deserve. This is what I deserve. Mm -hmm. The next day. Y'all, I'm stressed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, no, I need my emotional support acts for this conversation. After the speed build, which I, I hope you enjoyed. Again, my speed builds are not the, the sort of speed builds that you get finished results. It's more just, I'm throwing things out there, seeing what sticks and it will constantly change. But we are getting the vibe further into the island itself. I feel really good about this, this farm. I think it's a little empty, but I do feel that it's going to really put emphasis of like a good farming situation about making money. And I don't know what it is about this small little strip of like a build, but I kind of love it. I kind of love it. This is the cutest little thing. My villagers actually use it. And I have been really enjoying kind of pushing it further back and seeing how far my builds are going. And it's becoming a lot more cohesive. I'm starting to actually figure out uh, perspective builds and, and really making use of what I have <laughs> because it's really hard when you, you can't go to treasure islands. But a couple of things. This is the newest edition. I was really inspired by a dream address I visited a hot minute ago and they had the cutest perspective build here with a a waterfall and so what i'm thinking of doing is expanding the 
first level and creating a walkway from over there somewhere and then finally putting Able Sisters somewhere and starting to decorate the Fashionista area and finally moving Nook's Cranny away from the, the, the beach situation. But the update is that our girl Mint has arrived. And that's not the problem, y'all. Mint has always brought the drama. Like, we knew this. She has been part of the drama for, what, over a year? And it wasn't really necessarily her that brought the drama, but we have another villager in boxes as well as Mend. So as one person is coming in, one person is leaving. And so along with the face of drama, we have the face of complete and total utter betrayal. Yep. Yep. Flo is leaving us, which means that not only am I losing a bestie, y'all, not only am I losing a, a hair twinsy, a hairstyle twinsy. I now have to pay for time traveling. Flo, do you understand the the chaos? That that is expensive. You weren't making rags to riches expensive for me. No, no, no. Don't be thankful. I am heartbroken. I am crying. I am going to be losing five thousand bells starting tomorrow because of you. What the actual heck, girl? What the heck? Wasn't this island good enough for you? I thought you were saying that you were loving it here. I was loving having you here. I was loving the free time travel. <laughs> but also, I'm going to really miss her. She was a really fun villager to have. I love Flo. I just think she's like... The penguins are just really cool. So, yeah. We, uh... So much for putting my starters on the 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 entrance where they were important however i was thinking of putting together like a little scavenger hunt for rags to riches after this island was finished like find the things that make rags to riches a really special challenge so what's going to end up happening friends we need to check our turnips because at this point my turnips have been abysmal it is currently thursday in game I am sweating, I am stressed, and then we're going to end this chaos, this madness, with a villager hunt. Timmy, Tommy, please make my day because I am over this. Come on. Okay, it's... So I guess there's like an actual rise and fall of the prices, right? So, okay, I'm hoping that by Friday it's going to be better. So... We're going to move to tomorrow and hold me to this, friends. I'm holding myself to this. I'm going to be villager hunting at night because I need Scorpion Island so bad. I don't know how people are retaining millions of bells and rags to riches. I'm personally not. I am consistently poor. So I'm hoping that by doing a villager hunt at night that we will, one, find a top 10, a sisterly, and some scorpions. Yeah, but uh, I'm going to have to check the next morning to see what the prices are, and then we'll end this nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Timmy, Tommy, it is Friday morning. Do you have the good news? 144. Okay. So, with the trajectory, where are we at? Do I want to risk it? Do I want to risk it or do I want to save it for Saturday? Ooh, this is gonna be hard. It says, okay, so it's saying, it's saying, friends, that I just need to wait because I think the highest that it's going to be is Friday p.m. So we just need to wait a solid five minutes. And in the meantime, uh, we're just... We're, we're just, uh, gonna sit. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. We're just, we're just gonna sit.
snap, is it is it noon? Ugh. Okay, we got we got our water, we got our hydration. Please. Wait, which one was the one that gave me the bad news? It was you, right? How about you? T wrong twin. Timmy, bestie. No, I don't want to sell. No, I don't want to sell. I want to know the price. The price, please. Give me something good. Please and thank you. Tommy, yes. Give me something good. Today is a very, very good day, y'all. Let's go. I'll put the link in the description below of where you can track your turnips. It has been, I would say, pretty consistent with what I've expected with trajectory. So, um, yeah, I think this is almost a million bells. Maybe. Possibly. Hopefully. That would be great. That would be great. Please and thank you. Please be... Please. Let's... Oh! Now, are we going to have the same luck of of the turnips? Because, ho holy moly. Holy moly, I can pay off my house. No, wait, no, no. Artsy, artsy. Save your money. Save your money. Save your money. Yes. I will, however, be paying off this incline that I have so that I can finally, you know, work on other things. But oh my gosh, today today is a very oh ooh, ooh today is a very good day for money. All right, so maybe flow leaving is not the worst thing in the world. Maybe maybe we will be okay. Maybe we will survive in this economy because oh my goodness, let's go. Oh, bestie. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Lloyd, take all of this money. Take all of this money. I actually have an idea to perhaps spend a million bells for my, uh, for my turnips and see how far I can get. Because if I can get, like... 4 million or 6 million. I'll just keep doing it that way. Oh man. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. This is the most satisfying thing. Wow, I could pay off my house. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We're we're going to be we're going to be good about this. Mhm. Mm we're going to be so amazing at this. Oh yeah. Oh, that feels so incredible. I love that. Okay. So this this entire crazy roller coaster of a video has not been without a a great a great point for our resident representative. We're going to do a quick villager hunt. I should probably be like getting all of the resources that I possibly can because I have been a little bit uh, lazy about getting things from uh, Mystery Islands, but you know, today we just need a top 10, a sisterly, and Scorpion Island. What is the worst that could possibly go wrong? Don't, don't actually answer that question because I know exactly what could go possibly terribly wrong. We could get, you know, um, we could get Stu, because then I would be obligated to take him out of spite. We could have to autofill, which a, um, a person I traded with got my truffles, and uh, they were like, so you're the one that gave her to me. So, you know, I could, I could get somebody's autofill majesty, but we're going to time travel to the evening. And we're going to get started with this nonsense. And I know that this video was unhinged. I know that this video is going to be incredibly long. But um, if I have to suffer, so do you. Yeah. Okay. We, we've set the tone, the ambiance. I am officially a billionaire in this economy. We are going to find at least one of these three things. A sisterly. A top ten. 
and Scorpion Island. I have actually time traveled this time. I remembered to do it because remember the last couple of times that I planned on doing so and that did not happen. We're going to look and see which villagers are there. We're going to shake the trees like and, and try to get some more items and definitely look for some DIYs because this has been just time travel day. But I should ask, like, if I time travel to the next day and our starter wasn't there anymore, does that mean I have to pay the 5,000 bells? Because I feel like this, this should be my one phone call. I should be given some level of, like, pity for the fact that I lost my sister Lee. How many of you have lost your starters? Have you lost both starters yet? Because this was such a blow. Like, it's not even that I can't afford the 5,000 bells with the money tree and everything, but it's like, it's the principle. It's the absolute principle of it all. And I am just offended. I'm so upset. Like, we started this island together. Flo and I, we, we had... <gasps> Is this Scorpion Island? Hold on. We, we pause this dramatic crying complaining it is it it's money rock island though okay i'm not as upset i wonder if i can spawn a, a scorpion in there that would be super keen okay all right i'm not i'm not as upset this is a good start y'all i will be i we have a diy though Hello, Carrie, another fellow mom. Hi, it's good to see you. One of my mods is an avid Rue person in Animal Crossing, and it's all his fault that they became endearing for me. Like, I liked Walt already, but I ended up having Kit on my island for a little bit, and I loved her. She was such a great starter normal. I think we need to give the ruse a chance, friends. I know that the 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 literal alien that's popped out of their torso that copies and mimics everything they do is terrifying, but they are such a cute idea. Maybe with the next game, they can be like even just the 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 baby ruse looking around and just like sleeping. That would be cute. I think a lot of people would come to love them if the babies just were not a true mimic of their parent but carrie not it is not your day i hope that you end up on somebody's island who will love and appreciate you for as you are now here's another hot tip that i've also learned and i'm probably sure that everyone else knows i have been tending to like hit these rocks multiple times in order to get multiple bells but if you just do this the one time you get more money so just letting you all know that if you've been trying to get as much as possible, it's not worth it. You'll only get a couple hundred, maybe a thousand bells, as opposed to the the full bag that you are offered. But uh, this is a good start. This is a very good start. We are still um, fingers crossing on the the Scorpion Island spawn because I would love to have Flick give me so much money but also what because i have bell boom i moved from the the beautiful ordinance to the bell boom one and i have been making money a lot faster so i am very glad to have pursued changing my ordinance to be more money oriented because it's been a lot more helpful and thankfully because of time traveling we uh like i can time travel and check the the turnip times and i can have my my stores open whenever i want it's more just i have to be very mindful of time traveling especially when i have a lot of turnips and the goal for the next time our snotty girl comes to the island is that i'm going to give her a million bells worth to purchase turnips and i'm going to hope for the best because um i think i purchased a turnip at a hundred and no no my faithful shovel why i purchased it like at 105 and i actually had to take a loss so i there there must be a a like the golden price you know what i mean there must be the golden price for 
purchasing turnips and whether or not to buy a lot of them or to not buy a lot of them. So I will, I'll figure that out the next time that I purchase turnips because I want to make a lot of money. It also took me a couple of seconds to realize that I cannot craft a regular shovel because one, I put all of my tools away in preparation of Scorpion Island. Love it here. Love it. Fantastic. It's just, it's great. But that's all right. That's okay. It means trashing more tools and, and earning more Nook Miles, so I'm not complaining. We are just raking in the bells, y'all, despite the shovel breaking. That's okay. That's okay. You have to uh, break a couple of shovels in order to make the bells, but I'm, I'm okay with this. Carrie, even though I'm not taking you, you were on a spectacular island, and I am so happy to get this going. Ticket number two. We need a top ten, a sister elite, or scorpion island. Let's go. Let's go. Scorpion island. This island has none of those. Uh, that is... Is that Lucy? I think that's Lucy. Let me check. I always get the pigs wrong. Which one are you? I was right! And we have two normals in a row. There's literally eight personalities. Come on, normals. Stop trying to find yourself and, and let me get a sisterly girl. Let's, let's check this out. But there's the... W one <laughs> wasp. Fantastic. Okay, well, again, kind of a bummer. Kind of a bummer. Starting to starting to feel the uh, the pain, the concern, the overarching existential crisis that this entire video has been. By the way, however, we are we are doing okay. I'm not I'm not truly feeling the burn just yet. It, it'll be all right. It'll be okay. We have the technology. We have the Nook Miles tickets. It'll be okay. We are on ticket number three. Now, I have been sitting with this notion of like what to do for the forager part of this, this island build and... That is not Ava. That's the, this is the third normal in a row. I already have a normal girl. I already have a basic queen. No, no, no. Yeah, well, the chance encounters is no, but okay, listen, we're, we're going to continue talking about what I was talking about. So I have, um, I think what I'm going to do because with foragers, Sahara is kind of like our antithesis, right? And also we can deny campsite villagers. So maybe, maybe decorating the campsite with a forager vibe would be really cool or maybe having as part of the market a sahara stall i have no idea how that's going to work but i think that would be really interesting i think that would be really cool so if you have any ideas for how i can decorate for the forager that makes it kind of unique for the island let me know I think that would be a really cute idea. Or maybe I can have like a little pocket build for Sahara and then just really go bananas on the uh, on the campsite. But with the very least, and the reason why I bring this up is because I got a diner neon sign in the last island. So I feel like we can do something really cool with Nook's Cranny because I do want to do like a, a an elegant flower garden with the Able sisters, but maybe have like a little eating area with Nook's Cranny or maybe a crafting thing with Nook's Cranny. I don't know. But now it's starting to feel a little real, y'all. If I get five normals, this entire, like, if I just get a hunt of normals, a normal hunt, it would be very, it would be very typical. I wouldn't be upset to see Vesta. I would be very upset to turn her down, though. But I really just need a sisterly. Like, if I can have just one of those three for the next two tickets, a sisterly, a top 10, or Scorpion Island, I would settle. It's okay. I, I fully acknowledge that I would settle for one of those three instead of not having any of them because I'm desperate. 
this is the face of a very very desperate artsy alas it is not scorpion island it is however an interesting layout island it requires the emotional support no it requires the ladder so we're going to avoid the inevitable by first and foremost uh, just looking for the DIY because I have been really appreciating the, as of, uh, yeah, the useless <laughs> DIY. Well, I mean, the foxtail is cute. I'm not going to, to rag on it, but I do need, I, I need a better DIY than that. I would love the wild log bench because that is my favorite item to decorate with or just really any island. It doesn't matter, but who is that? Are you kidding me? That is not Callie. That is not Callie. Am I- is this really truly... This is a normal hunt. This has been four villagers of the same personality. What the absolute heck is this? Why- why are my hunts the ones that are unhinged? Why are my hunts the problem? Why is my island the problem? I have done nothing, y'all. Do you not see the amazing builds that I have created? Do, do they not appreciate the actual work that I have been doing? I haven't been min-maxing, y'all. I mean, half the island's been min-maxing, but I have not been just, like, making money. I have been giving them a home. I have been giving them clothes and friendship. And you know what happens? Flow leaves. That's what happens. This is a normal hunt. This is this is a normal hunt. Yep. She is really cute though. I will say, but I, I don't think my island has enough drama capability for two squirrels. I think that would truly end the island. So if I had to pick between Mint and Kali, Mint would win every time. Oh, yeah. You know, it occurs to me that there isn't a sisterly in the in the top ten Animal Crossing portal, but there are a few. There are a few normals. We have Lolly, and we have Molly, as uh, ranking number what six and nine, and we have our girl Maple, who I whom I have had before, is like rank eleven. So if we're just going to have a normal hunt, fine. Give me those normals, game. Now the question is, is is this Scorpion Island? Is this going to be the start of a slasher film with me just losing my ever-loving mind? But we're going to take my emotional support axe. We're going to walk. We're going to... Wait. Is this Scorpion Island? Nope, it's not Scorpion Island. Uh, who is it? What are the odds? What are the odds that five villagers in a row were normal? <laughs> Looks like I'm autofilling for the fourth time because I have still on the other island and I love the girl I really do, but you know what? You know what? As always, we're choosing chaos on this island. So uh, friends, don't worry. I love Stella. She is great, but we, we, we've got to just accept that things just don't go according to plan. Yep. So thank you all for watching. If you can, please leave some ideas that I can use for a forager build or a series of forager builds on my Rags to Riches Island. And uh, again, thank you for watching. As always, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, make art, play games, and encourage others to do the same. Do not use emotional support axes in, in actual real life because uh, <laughs> just saying. But anyway, I will catch you next time, friends. Goodbye.